Hello, hello. Welcome to the video. As you can probably tell, I'm on the coast again, and uh, this time at a place called Sea Salter, which is uh, on the Kent coast as usual. It's a very grey, overcast, damp morning. The sun's due to rise in about 20 minutes. So I thought I'd pop out and see if we get anything in the way of half decent light. See if we can get a, an image or two. Tide's coming in. Not due in for another couple of hours fully, but uh, it's on its way in, which makes a change. I'm normally here when, I'm normally on the coast when uh, the tide's fully out, as you'll know if you've watched any of my previous videos. So, let's see if I can find something to shoot. See if we can capture an image or two. So I'm actually set up here. Tide's coming in quite quickly. You'll see I went back to the car and got my hat and gloves. Um, when I first set up, I had the uh, tripod up high, but it was a bit unstable and also it didn't give me the right angle of the shot that I wanted. So um, I've lowered the tripod down, it's a lot more stable now. And also uh, I've got a better angle uh, into the shot that I'm after. Um, which is just a simple shot, beach, sea coming in, and then you've got this groin, which is slowly being covered by the incoming tide. Um, so I'm at ISO 100, um, F11, and I'm out to about 30 mil um, on the uh, 16 to 35 wide angle lens. So yeah, um, two second timer. The sun has risen. It rose about 20 minutes ago um, and we didn't get, we haven't got any light really. Um, so this is just practice shoots, practice image taking. Try out in a bit more detail this lens and see what uh, I can get with it. But you have to, uh, you have to make the most of what you get, don't you? So I came out, I'm gonna get at least one picture. So let's take this shot. And let's see what that looks like. Yeah, it's a, it's, it's a good shot. It's a good image. It's sharp. But nothing special obviously on on a day like today um yeah there's not a lot more really i can say about that i might take an image this way and uh put a filter on and see if that looks any good So, let's try a filter. I think we will, there's no need for a circular polarizer, I don't believe. The sun's not gonna come out through these thick clouds. It's not gonna make any real difference as far as I'm concerned. And uh, let's try, yeah. Oh the three stop actually 
let's focus before I put that on. I'm just going to focus on the groin. Yeah, okay, lovely. Thank you very much. <laughs> Cheers, thanks a lot. <laughs> nice chap offering to uh, sail past so I can do some time lapse. So, might do that. Uh, but let's get this shot. Uh, so, I focused ISO 100, F11. Again, 30 mil. Let's put the let's take the shot. Which was a two second exposure. Ooh. Always seem to come out when it's cold. Yeah, that's quite nice. Given the fact that we haven't got any light, um, that isn't actually that bad. So, uh, yeah, I quite like that. So I've turned back to that first composition and uh, I've changed lenses to the 24 to 105 and I'm out at around about 100 mil. Tides come in a little bit further, so uh, a bit more of the groins covered and uh, I can get less of the beach in I put the three stop, I've already focused, I put the three stop uh, ND on. I'm still at ISO 100, F11, and it's about 1.6 second exposure. So two second timer, as I said, let's take that shot and have a look. Yeah, it's not too bad at all, but what I'm going to do is take the three stop off I do like these Wolverine magnetic filters it's just so easy to carry and use and I'm actually going to put I'm going to try it with a 10 and the reason I'm trying the 10 is because I want to see If I can really smooth out that water enough to get a bit of a artistic type shot, which is probably the best sort of shot you're going to get on a day like today, because there's no no light really. So on goes the ten stop, and obviously I will need to adjust this to bulb mode and I need my remote now the only thing is working out the length of exposure and uh, I tend to do that by trial and error when I put a 10 stop on to be honest um, I will go for something like a 90 second exposure just to see what that comes out like not forgetting I've got a two second timer as well so let's start and we'll see what this comes out like if any of these images are any any good I'll put them up at the end of the video just so you can see what I managed to capture. It's getting a, a little bit brighter, although the sky over there looks particularly dark and they did say it's going to be rain on and off, so I probably won't stay down here for too long. Um, I've got some other work to do this morning. It's very peaceful. Surprising there aren't more people out here walking their dogs or just taking 
taking the morning air. It's a it's a lovely spot. I don't think I've ever been to Sea Salter to be honest, so that's one good thing about landscape photography. It makes you go to places that perhaps you wouldn't go to. And uh you see these places and you discover that you know there's some really nice places around not too far from where you live. This isn't far from where I live at all, 25 minutes drive, something like that. Okay, we're coming up to nearly 90 seconds. I suspect this is going to be too dark, but where are we? There. But it doesn't matter um, because not like the old days when you shot on film actually that's not too bad i think i will try another though at two minutes um and you would have wasted a a um a film there wouldn't you you would have wasted one of your 24 36 whatever you had but with digital, of course, all you're doing is taking up space on a card. So let's try that again, but I'm going to go for two minutes this time. So my philosophy is, take the shot. It's just taking up a bit of time and a bit of space on the card and a bit of battery power and what have you, but it's all renewable, it's all replaceable. If the image is no good, you can delete it. I never really delete anything in camera though, but when I get back to home, I will delete it if it's no good. And uh, what have you wasted, really? A couple of minutes. It's worth doing, isn't it? So we'll see how this one comes out again, if it's any good. I'll add it on the end. Don't expect anything too spectacular though because the light is pretty awful. These may actually make really good black and white images, um, which is what I tend to do when, uh, when the light's like this. And I do like black and white. So, <sighs> surprisingly windy. And it, uh, you're probably not hearing it on the microphone, but uh, yeah. Surprising and quite chilly. Still is it is December, so can't really moan. Right, here we go. Two minutes. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's really nice, actually. I like that image. I am thinking black and white. So I'll put those up at the end. And see what you think of them. But yeah, better than being indoors. Morning. Sorry? It is a little bit, isn't it? Yeah. Still, it's, it beats sitting indoors, doesn't it? So. So I've recomposed here to back to my second shot. I'm doing another two minute with the 10 stop. See what that comes out like. Nice couple walking their dogs. It's another thing about getting out. You meet people and you just have a quick chat. I do like it. Okay, About five seconds to go. I'm hoping this one will come out as well. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm quite pleased with that one. In fact, I think that's probably the better one. 
that I've taken so far this morning. So uh, I've been down there about an hour. I think I've got two or three reasonable images, um, especially if I make them into black and white. Um, so hopefully they'll be good enough to show at the end of this video. Um, for once, I'm not going to end the video in the car, which is what I normally end up doing for some reason. Well, mainly because it's cold and I'm tired and cold and need a coffee. But uh, don't you just really like getting out when it's peaceful, when it's quiet, and just taking some photographs? But yeah, it's a lovely place. I think I'll come back down here, probably in the summer, early in the morning or in the evening, catch a sunrise or a sunset. I think it'll be really, really quite special. There may actually be a nice shot of along the beach. Let me just compose in it so that the horizon is the top third and uh, I've got as little of the beach as possible. I'm out at a maximum 105. This is the longest lens I've got at the moment. Although so I'm uh, just going to focus on the near groin. And make sure that that is focused as well as it can be, which I think it is. I'm going to put the 10 stop on. I'm still in bulb mode, F11, ISO 100. And I'm going to kick this off. And again, I think the light hasn't changed significantly, so I'm going to do a two minute and see what two minutes comes out like. And then this will probably be my last shot of the day, I think. It's nice just standing here listening to the sea. Calming, very calming. Which is probably one of the reasons I like coastal beach type photography. Um, so much and of course in Kent we've got a lot of coast um, so yeah that helps at least it hasn't rained yet which is um, a bonus I don't like shooting in the rain But sometimes you have to, of course. 20 seconds. It's a bit of a ramble, this video, isn't it? So, sorry about that. But, um, hopefully the images are okay. There we go. Two minutes. Hands cold. Let's have a look. And again, yeah, two minutes is just about right, I think. Yeah, that's a nice shot. Again, I'll add it to the end. Um, you can see all these shots and see if they're any good. Please comment below. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Give this uh, video a thumbs up if you liked it. It always helps, especially when you're trying to start out on YouTube. It really does help. So a thumbs up would be great. And subscribe, as I say. That would be really nice of you. OK, I think I'm going to go. I don't think there's anywhere else I want to go down here. So I'm going to pack up, back to the car, home see what these images are like, put this video together. Hopefully get it out either today or at some point tomorrow, depending how much time I've got today. And uh, look for the next adventure. So for now, thanks very much for watching. Bye bye.